Hello, welcome to Stopping by Hannah, live on Facebook or on YouTube if you're watching the replay. Um, thank you so much for joining me on World Card Making Day. How exciting is that? Yes, it is actually a thing. There is actually a whole day dedicated to card making. And I have four cards for you today that are all fabulous. There is a lot of... I've got a, um, a trolley that I keep here when I'm doing Facebook Lives and it's full of stuff today. Like It's so full that I've had to put things on shelves and in other places because I cannot fit everything where it's easily accessible to me because I need too much stuff. So before we get going, I want to let you know that there's a World Card Making Day sale on today and tomorrow. It's been on all week, but it finishes tomorrow night at about 10 p.m. ish um, over on my web store. So the link to that is, sorry, it's up there on Facebook and it's down there on YouTube. Hopefully this video will go up to YouTube tonight um, or this afternoon. I've had some problems with my YouTube recently. Um, where I think it's my computer more than YouTube where my computer won't let a video upload It's really really annoying. I'm hoping that I'm gonna solve it this afternoon um, Because I had videos that were due to go up last week and ne neither of them got there So they need to go up this week and then my videos for this week need to go up as well So I'm hoping that I can get this video up and then hopefully I'll be able to get the others up as well So I'm gonna tilt you on down because the first thing I've got is a little box of joy this cute little box of joy arrived this week and I want to show you what I got in it um, and then we're going to do some card making. Are you ready? Right, I'm going to turn you around and tilt you on down past some mess on my desk as usual. Oh, and my, right, I haven't used this setup for a little while because as you know, I haven't done a Facebook Live for a few weeks. Um, my, I had a holiday and then my oh dear you see oh it's not good today my fit my husband was on nights and i can't do um i just can't film when my husband's on nights i'll wake him up and i yeah my crafty mojo disappeared in september and i literally did not i went on a crafty retreat with some of my stampin up team and the best weekend we had we honestly we had so so much fun but then my crafty mojo packed its bags and went away <laughs> and I did not craft for a solid two, probably two and a half weeks. Um, and so, yeah, there's been nothing on my Facebook and I apologise for that, but I am back. So first off, do you want to see what's in this, this box of crafty goodies? This was my last order from the last Stampin' Up! year. Um, and I, I, there's essentials in here and there's some other bits. Hello Pat, nice to see you. So I got three snail adhesives. These are, no, they're not in the World Card Making Day sale, but we have got some adhesives in there. I have a pack of the Balloon Honeycomb Elements. These are retired, but they are currently, or they were, I haven't checked actually this morning, um, in the clearance rack at the moment. And they're so cute. I'll get them out for you. Um, and I do keep a stack of retired things kind of on hand for things like Facebook Live prizes and other good stuff because just because it's retired doesn't mean you can't use it does it so look at these those little honeycombs oh and it's not gonna open <laughs> look at those look at it it's gorgeous so i've got a pack of those for some lucky winner at some point i do have i have a, a grab bag um i, I could probably do a thing another another grab bag event actually then I could not resist. I saw some really fun projects with these. Well, I, well, my crafty mojo had disappeared. Um, I was, and I don't know if part of the problem was I was just spending an awful lot of time on Instagram. Um, but they, ha I saw loads on loads of demonstrators using the new. Um, what are, what are we calling them? Because it it says all purpose ink on the front, but I'm not sure. I don't think that's what it says in the catalogue. Shimmer paints, that's what they are. So I thought we've got four colours. There's, there's these two, and I think there's a gold and a copper colour as well. Um, but I went for the frost white and the champagne mist purely because I thought those both of those colours would be really cute in a stamping spritzer with some alcohol to spray on cardstock and make some your own shimmer shimmery cardstock which I think has been very cool so I'm going to play about with those and there will be a video coming soon I am sure with those I'll put that rubbish in the bin then my treat to myself last month was the Dashing Deer stamp set and the matching frameless I absolutely love this deer I this stamp set 
in the catalogue totally passed me by. And I'm going to blame those damn Stampin' Up! Artisans again. Because they make me buy things. <sighs> They're naughty. Um, and they did a fabulous hop with these. And I just couldn't resist. So, and you've got loads of really cute, like there's that fabulous deer die that doesn't have a matching stamp, but that's fine. Um, these whole have dies to go with them. And then there's some fabulous kind of swirly, curly bits that I just, I couldn't resist. So I'm going to, I haven't made anything with it yet. Literally just got out of the box, but that will, there will be a project with that hopefully this week. And then the last thing in this box, it actually isn't for me. <laughs> so I have a um, Stampin' Up! So, so Stampin' by Hannah VIP Rewards Programme. And this past month, one of my fabulous customers, who I love to pieces, um, cashed in some rewards. So, and these are the things she chose, and I think she chose so, so well. So she's got the little piggies and the A Good Day stamp set. And I, the, so these will be coming out in the post to one of my lovely customers this week, along with the thank you card and um, the Code Club co code gift, because she used that as well, because she's clever. Very clever like that. So, oh, and I'm... My phone is plugged in, so there's a wire and it's all going to get in the way. So that was my little mini haul for the end of the month. And I put everything back in this box. And kind of throw it in the box to get everything out of the way. Because like I said, I haven't got a lot of room today. <laughs> I've got too many things out. Um, yeah, World Card Making Day has made, meant that my desk has kind of completely overflowed. So I haven't, and I haven't actually made a project either. So this is another confession I've got. I... I kicked my husband out to work at half past 11 this morning and at that point I thought I probably should get out of bed which means that I hadn't actually designed any cards so I still haven't actually made any cards but we're going to make four <laughs> have them designed in my head and I'm hoping that they're going to work so the first one I've got I've got a bundle of things the first two cards are very very similar we're going to make two cards in the same design that are going to look a bit different so first one i thought we would do christmas because we've got the fabulous new autumn winter catalogue out and it's packed jam-packed full of fabulous christmas things and one of my favorite things in this catalogue is the merry christmas to all stamp and die bundle and i just can't get enough of those dies look at these they are just stunning so you've got happy merry holidays and christmas uh, they are just going to be so useful. They can come out again year after year after year. Never ever going to get old. Just love those. And the stamp set that goes with them has heaps and heaps of words in it. Loads and loads. And it's photopolymer as well. So you're, it's just, yeah, wonderful. So we use that for a Christmas card along with the Peaceful Noel stamp set. And I'm going to do something very similar using Petal Palette and Perennial Birthday. Now, Petal Palette is one of the stamp sets in that World Card Making Day sale. So, if, you, if you're if you on Facebook, I don't know if I'm going to get this done for YouTube, but if you're on Facebook, up there in the description, there is a link to my blog post for the World Card Making Day sale, where you will see a list of every single thing um, that's 10% off. Most of, There's kits, there's adhesives, and there's a couple of stamp sets in there too. And this is one of those. And I, you guys know how much I love this one. So let's move those out of the way for the time being. So we're going to do Christmas first. So, right. Brain isn't functioning yet. Like I said, I only got out of bed at half past 11. And it's now only two o'clock. So, you know, <laughs> just one of those days. Sometimes you need a Saturday in bed, don't you? Or is that just me? Pajama day. Right. So I've got a card base of Tranquil Tide. I'm just going to score that, so I burnish that, because it's pre-cut and pre-scored. And I've got a mat of Whisper White. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Peaceful Noel stamp set to create a wreath image and then pop Happy Christmas over the top, is the plan. So, how to create a stamped wreath? Really, really quick and easy. I know that there are loads of ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. So I take a piece of cardstock like that move the card base out of the way and I take my layering circle dies these are one of my absolute stamping must-haves cannot live without them and I'm going to take not the biggest one but probably the second biggest and pop that down on my card all right and I'm going to move it out of the way before I <laughs> throw it somewhere so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that die and use it as a template. So once I've got it positioned where I want it on my cardstock, I'm gonna take a pencil 
And I'm just going to run that pencil around the inside really lightly. Ooh. Minding my fingers. Okay, so I've now got a pencil circle on my cardstock. I can then use that with my photopolymer stamp set and get a perfect wreath. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of stamped images. I'm not going to use loads and loads, just a couple. And actually, I love this stamp set. It's one of those um, multi-step stamping stamp set so you've got like this image okay you can stamp that on top of that and then it kind of colors it in for you I'm not going to do that today i'm just going to stick to line images so i've pulled out that one that one and that one and i'm going to get them onto some blocks yeah organized as ever over here today actually haven't even got enough blocks <sighs> sorry you hear me cranking up because i've got the, the tin out as well because there's a, there's a stamp there's a card for that later on right and i have i've not pulled my inks out either have i so i have pulled four inks for this card i have pulled tranquil tide coastal cabana gray granite and mary mellow i don't know how this is going to work that looks quite festive to me because it's got red and green in it but how it's going to work i'm not quite sure so i'm going to do let's do some gray granite first i'm going to pull the biggest stamp that i've got Okay. And I'm quite lucky, and this stamp's already curved. With photopolymer stamps, I could curve it myself, but because it's already curved, it makes it easier. And I'm going to use that pencil line as a guide to stamp my image around just like that. And I will stamp five times. Um, usually, when I'm creating a wreath like this, I will stamp odd numbers of stamps um, just because I think it looks. It, the, it's more pleasing to the eye that's the word I'm looking for I'm going to take some coastal cabana and I've got oh that didn't stick I've got the sort of pine cone stamp so this is not you know we're not going for realism here and I'm going to stamp that a few times around and that smudged all over but that's okay <sighs> like so and then close that one up I'm gonna take my Mary Merlot and the final stamped image and stamp that around as well look at that really quick and simple wreath and you could add more into that um, you could, like I said, you could use those multi-layer stamps, the stamp kind of in there and colour them in. You could even use your blends to colour that in. You could add sparkly bits and all sorts. I am going to add some sparkle because the other thing I've pulled is the glimmer paper, which is the, I think it's Peaceful Noel glimmer paper. And this stuff is stunning comes in a pack with three or three colors so you get one that's sort of tranquil tide a copper color and one that's more cherry cobbler than it is mary Merlot. can't hold them together um but these are beautiful they are the new star glimmer paper so they don't shed and they are fabulous for die cutting um and i think you get hold on a second have i got the have i still got the packaging no i haven't can't remember how many sheets you get in a pack but it's probably about 48 um something like that maybe 36 loads anyway but and i mean i've die cut the word happy out of that sheet and you still you, there's loads left loads and loads so i have already die cut that happy word there in the tranquil tide color and i am going to pull the word christmas from that merry christmas to you And I'm just trying to think what colour I might start. I might start that in grey granite, actually. Right. Let's get that on a block. When I die cut that um, happy from the glimmer paper, I always, if I'm die cutting anything into it like that, I always make sure that I've got um, adhesive sheet on the back because 
it makes it so much easier when you're sticking things on so it's already adhesive i just need to pull the backing off so before i stick anything down i need to erase that pencil line now it's not obvious obvious but if you look closely you can still see that pencil line i want rid of it so i have a white eraser i think this one is from wh smith's probably about 10 years ago but i know you can get white erasers all over the place um and because that ink is now dry our ink stamp up ink dries really quickly on our cardstock so i know i'm quite safe to rub over that and get rid of that pencil line how pretty is that super quick right need a snail adhesive and i'm going to just pop this onto my tranquil tide card base like that and then i've got this happy box oh <laughs> pulled up um i should use this one shouldn't i not this anymore but this is the one that comes to comes to hand quicker right take your pick i love this thing it's so good we have putty on one end is that in focus yeah i've got putty on one end and then the other end you've, we've got kind of removable tools so there's a pokey tool and a spatula and then there's a couple of what they're called ball tools as well in different sizes um, I don't know where that end is at the moment. So I'm going to use my pokey end to just, because there are kind of, obviously, it's, there's middle bits to these words. And I don't want them to get stuck to the card. So I'm just going to use my, I love a pokey tool. Always got a pokey tool in my hand when I'm crafting, just so, so useful. And then I'm, th oh, now then, is that gonna help me get it off or I'm gonna need my, am I gonna need to use my fingers? Sometimes you do just need to get them in, the, in there with a finger now. Right, so stick that onto my pocket tool so I've then got, it can move around. And there we go, look at that. How quick was that? really lovely quick and simple christmas card i think that's so fun i do like i said have a birthday version as well so let's just move some of these things out of the way i'm gonna just take my i'm gonna be really messy and i've got a spare block and i'm just gonna stick all my spare stamps onto a block to keep them in one place and i'll tidy up afterwards move my ink out of the way and the stamps I'm now not using out of the way. Right, so the other version, I have a cherry cobbler card base and a piece of Whisper White again. I'll just take my bone folder and burnish that. I need my circle die again. And it, like I said, it doesn't need to be necessarily one of these. You could, if you've got a ramekin handy or, I'm just thinking things on my desk. That's just about the same size, so the inside of your um, tearing tape. Anything really, I've also got a glass of Coke on my desk, but that's gonna get messy <laughs> if I try and draw around that. We'll have a slurp though. Right, so once again, take that pencil and draw the inside of that. You could do the outside. I prefer to do the inside just because I find it easier to keep the pencil in that way around. So, what stamps have I got? Oh, I did have some stamps. What stamps were I going to use? That was it. No, I'm going to use the Petal Palette stamps. So, not that one. In here, this one, we have this little stamp. I'm only going to use the one. A um, little bit more complicated this time because it's red rubber rather than photopolymer. So it's slightly more difficult to get it lined up perfectly. But it'll be okay. And I have a load of ink colours I'm probably not going to use. So I've got Cherry Cobbler, Poppy Ray, Granny Apple Green and Crushed Curry. And the Happy I've already die cut because it's easier is in that copper colour. So, hmm. 
let's have let's go for granny apple green not the most obvious color combination in the world cherry cobbler and granny apple green but i think i can make it work so what do you guys think do you think i can make this work right so and this time i'm just going to and i'm there'll be a bit of overlap and that's absolutely fine i don't mind that so vaguely following that around look at that that's a pretty cool circle just by eye i am impressed with myself <laughs> doesn't take much you know right I'm then gonna take there's a little flower as well and I think I'm gonna pop that onto a block and I'm gonna stamp that in poppy parade this is such a bright color I think it's really fun and just oh, just kind of round and round over the top of that granny apple green I like a bit of overlapped color and a bit of kind of yeah, like that. And then to get in that crushed coat, because I do want a hint of that yellow, I'm going to take, is that the right colour? It is a stamp and write marker, and I'm going to spritz my cardstock. This is where I need to move everything else out of the way because everything's going to get messy. So, your stamp and write markers have got two ends. You've got a thin end where you've got a kind of it's a hard tip, great for journaling on your memories and more cards. And then you've got a brush end on the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the brush end, you're going to insert it into the cap and then flick it. Okay, I'm going to flick it quite a lot because I want quite a bit of splatter. And that creates a really, really pretty splattery effect you could also use um some like a dab of reinker and a toothbrush that kind of thing usually works as well um but that's the way i tend to do my spritzing right then i need a birthday <laughs> which is something i don't have to hand i have pulled the perennial birthday stamp set but i think it's a bit big and the one i've got is wood so it's really awkward to get in the right place so I don't want to get my stuff from a jig out because I, I, you guys know how sad I was when that retired. Right, I had one in my, I had a stamp set in my head. There it is. That has a birthday in it. Picture perfect birthday. This is my absolute go-to. You can see how much it is my how it's my go-to because the stamps don't stick anymore. <laughs> right, so we've got this cute little sentiment that says happy birthday. Okay, and I'm just going to ink up the birthday this time. And I'm going to go for Cherry Cobbler. Because we haven't actually used any Cherry Cobbler yet except on that card base. So, just ink up where it says birthday. And I'm going to just pop that down there. And then, like once again, like we did before, need to take that white eraser and get rid of that pencil line. So, just like so. Has anybody got any card making or any crafty plans on this Saturday afternoon? I've got to say, I was this morning was really grey and miserable outside and it was one of those perfect crafty days where it rained and rained and rained. And then this afternoon, now I look out my window, I can actually see blue sky. So if I had a garden, I'd probably be out in it, but I don't, so I won't. I'm going to stay in my craft room. Right, so, so, oh, my phone is coming up with messages to say there's a connection available. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Facebook Live, sometimes it throws up weird messages every now and again. Right, let's just pop out the, the middles of some of these letters again. And then, oh, last one, right, and I can take the backing off, because like, once again, I have used the um, adhesive sheets, multi-purpose adhesive sheets before, 
I've um, die cut. So you stick the, the adhesive sheet on the back of the cardstock first and then die cut it. Um, it's brilliant stuff. Absolutely love it. I'm going to pop that there like that. And we have happy birthday and happy Christmas. Aren't they fun? I think they're really fun, those. Really quick and easy. She says, we think we've been online about, we've been online 25 minutes. We've made two cards. I don't think that's too bad with my waffle. So that's, that's two cards down. Then I thought, in my wisdom, you guys know how I run the Inspire Create Challenge Stampin' Up um, Challenge blog, which I absolutely love. But And I set the challenges. So this last week on Wednesday, we set we had a new challenge go live. And if you would love, I would love it if you take part. You just need to click over to inspirecreatechallenge.blogspot.co.uk and you will see our most recent challenge. And the design team have done amazing work this week. Honestly, I am so impressed because the colour challenge I set them was tough. Let me show you what they got to work with. This was this week's colour challenge. <laughs> right. I don't know where I came up with this one. I really am not sure. I can't remember. So we've got Pear Pizzazz, Calypso Coral, Lovely Lipstick, Sahara Sand and Crushed Curry. Wasn't I mean? That happy comes from the... Da, 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 da. Where's it gone? Merry Christmas to all. Stamp and the die bundle. Kelly, that's where that one comes from. So it's... It's that die there. It's really pretty, isn't it? Really lovely. Right. So, yeah, so what, what was I saying? Yeah, we've got this colour, this colour combination this week. I cannot wait to see what people come up with with it because it is, I, I think it's tough. Um, it took me a while to make something with it, but I'm going to make another card with it today <laughs> because I'm a little bit mad. So... I should have pulled the card that I made with it for the colour challenge, but I haven't. <laughs> I don't know where that one now is. So, what have I got? What, what stamp set did I pull? Oh, I pulled Burst Frost. That was it. So, we have got... I've got a um, card base of Sahara Sand. And then a mat of Calypso Coral. And a mat of Whisper White. Okay? And then I've pulled the first Frost stamp set. This is beautiful. You guys know how much I love a bit of watercolour and that extends to faux watercolour just as much as it does real. So <laughs> um, this just ticks all my boxes. It's pretty, it's floral, it's got that kind of faux watercolour effect on it. Absolutely love that. Yes, Verity, I know. I thought I was doing... I, it, it's supposed to be a challenge. <laughs> if every challenge was easy, we wouldn't do them, would we? So, <laughs> I'm sorry that it's a tricky challenge for you, Verity, this week. I am. I really am. Um, so, I'm going to pull out the first frost stamp set. And I've got two florals and this kind of sprig. And then, hmm... Let's go for wishing you all the best, I think, as a sentiment. I think that would be nice. So I'm going to move everything else out of the way. I'm going to just fold this card base first. And I've made this card the other way around. Usually, I make cards that way. So that's a piece of A4, cut in half, fold in half. This one is it's still a piece of A4, cut in half, fold in half. But I've cut it that way and folded it. So that's more of a traditional card than that kind of tenfold. Does that make sense? Probably not. <laughs> brain, me and my brain at the moment are not friends. It's not allowing me to think of words I actually want to say. So, <laughs> right. Let's get our piece of Whisper White and I'm going to stamp the sentiment first. Okay. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Calypso Coral. That would be that would be a good place to start i think so and it's wishing you all the best that way up okay like that okay i'm going to keep this card really simple um and just 
just taking things back off stamping blocks again because I've got and I've now got a pile of stamps ready to put away. Right. So let's get these mounted up. Uh, hmm. Haven't got, still haven't got the right number of blocks. I also think I've lost a block. I have a funny feeling that I left one behind um, at the crafty retreat the other week or it's ended up in somebody else's bag because I am damn sure that I had two of this size and I'm now damn sure I only have one and I don't know where it's gone it's part, it's either gone in the bin or I took it to the crafty retreat and didn't bring it home again one or the other right let's do some greenery first so we've got this lovely sprig and I'm going to stamp kind of randomly but in a semicircle around our sentiment like that and I'm going to add a little bit more just dotted off the edge just like that <laughs> can you tell I'm making it up as I'm going along I don't know I would really like to know right let's then have let's have some lovely lipstick next i don't know if this is card is going to work either by the way like i said haven't made it yet so i'm going to take the big flower of lovely lipstick so and i'm going to randomly stamp that all over like that and then all oh, the my new ink pads the new style ones are still a bit stiff and then i'm going to take the smaller one small flower and I'm going to stamp that in crushed curry. So one, oh, that didn't stamp very well, did it? All over. Kind of making your own designer series paper, but you've got that sentiment already in, which I think is cute. Right, there we go. And then, again, I can see it, yes I can. I'm going to spritz with my Sahara sand just to give me a little bit more kind of detail over this card like that and you could add extra embellishments to that you could add some ribbon I'm just trying to think what I've got to hand all my embellishments are currently on the other crafty desk on the other side of the room so I'm not going to embellish it any further <laughs> because that would mean me running to the other side of my room um, I'm probably making a mess or falling over. So I'm going to pop that on there. I'm just thinking though, might be nice is a hint of some Wink of Stella. So, which is not going to show up very well on camera. Certainly not going to show up very well when I actually take the pictures of this one. But, you might be able to see it on video. Mm, maybe not. Oh well, it was an idea. Right, and then I'm actually going to pop this one up onto dimensional rather than sticking it flat. So, did you guys see my top tip for this week? I'm trying to do top tips on Friday. And this week's top tip was about dimensionals. Once you've used all the dimensionals out the middle, this bit around the edge... It's all the same stuff. I cut it up and use it all the time. Sometimes even on video. Always, if you haven't seen it on video, it's probably got bits of the back of dimensionals, the bits of um, sides of dimensionals on the back of it. Because that's how, yeah, my crafting tends to work. So that, I think that's quite successful with that quite tricky, quite tricky colour challenge. I think that's quite successful. <laughs> I might now have to put this onto the challenge blog. I wonder what the go <laughs> I um I have entered the challenge a couple of times. For all I set the challenge and coordinate the design team and all the rest of it, I do still enter the challenges every now and again. So I think that might have to go in. Just like I like seeing what the girls say when I right oh ah that's why the connection is available because my connection's dodgy. I'm really sorry I, I keep dropping out or going blurry one day, one day I will get proper internet connection where I don't have to use horrible dial-up internet. 
hopefully soon hopefully hopefully the flat is still on the market if you know anybody who wants to buy a flat in stockton on tees please do let me know <laughs> am i sounding desperate yet thank you girls i think that i think that's really pretty right so i have a really super quick card for our fourth i was about to say third and final but it's not it's the fourth card we've made and i can't resist some blackberry bliss i just can't so we're gonna go for a simple two-tone card or you know monotone yeah monotone because it's going to be blackberry bliss and shimmery white cardstock and that's going to be it but i just wanted to share with you this gorgeous tin now i have to admit i didn't buy this i did win it in a raffle at my stamping up retreat the other week but it's so so stunning i can't work i cannot work out i'm gonna put in it yet um but it's actually it's the perfect tin for bi for biscuits because it's got a really it's it, the lid goes on really firmly really really firmly in the tin and or i've actually taken out it comes beautifully presented in the tin but i've taken the innards out so it's now just the tin you get a really fun punch which i think is a great little punch coordinating stamp set two um stamping spots and an ink block blends fit well that's a really good idea actually blends very same to put blends in my tin i would put blends in my tin but uh, that terrible woman that terrible terrible heidi smith of flutter by heidi who if i haven't linked in the blog post i, I shout at me um sells mdf crafty storage so i've got some proper blends storage um because Heidi basically shouted at me until I bought one. Um, <laughs> she didn't have to shout at me that much, to be fair. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got blend storage already. I do love it as well. I've got all my blends and all of my Stampin' Right markers all in the same kind of shelf unit. I will tidy my shelf and take a picture of it for you. So, yeah, so you get in the tin, in the tin, you get a stamp, a, a, a stamp set of six really cute little stamps. A cute punch two stamping spots and a um, clear block, which I think is really quite good value. So, the card. <laughs> Not sure quite how well this card's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. So, I have got my card base oh, in Blackberry Bliss, which is now gonna send the white balance off all over the place. I don't care because this color is gorgeous. This is the color of my bedroom. <laughs> it's just i love it absolutely love it i've got a piece of shimmery white cardstock now i haven't shown this on camera for ages i don't know if that's going to pick it up either oh no this cardstock has a shimmer in it already built in and it's beautiful so i've also got my blackberry blackberry bliss um ink pad and i need to select a stamp i'm going to go for the I'm going to go for the thanks, and it's not quite going to fit, but I think it'll work. I think I can get this to work. This card is completely in my head, if you haven't worked that out already. So, I'm going to take that shimmery white cardstock, and my Blackberry Bliss ink, and this, this ink oh, is going to stain my stamp. It is going to stain my stamp. It is going to get all over my fingers. It's going to get in my hair. It gets everywhere because the Blackberry Bliss is one of those colours, and I think we all have one, Blackberry Bliss is mine, where the ink is attracted to your skin and you end up wearing it. So I'm going to try not to put my fingers in it. <laughs> right. I'm going to stamp the thanks over and over and over again. And I'm going to overlap it and ink stamp it off like that now that all oh, it would be great if i'd if they'd all stayed up right but that's okay i'm we're, we're making it work right i'm then gonna stamp it again on a piece of scrap like so now the reason this isn't quite gonna work is because this stamp is really pretty, but it's got leaves that stick off the edge, which means it, this punch doesn't quite fit. <laughs> but I'm going to make it work. Determined. 
So, punch out. Love, love the sound of our punches, don't you? Absolutely love them. And the fact that they store flat. So all you need to do is fold, is squeeze them together and move that bit down, which is a bit stiff when they're brand new, and it stays flat. And then you can stack them one on top of the other. Or mine actually sit in a drawer that way. That's how I store mine. Right, so this card's gonna come together really, really quickly. Really, really, really quickly. Just like that. Put it right way up. And I'm gonna pop two dimensionals on the back of there. I did think we could add some let hold on, hold on. Before I, before I go sticking stuff down. <laughs> I've got I've got some very I've got bits and pieces around that might look cute. So this is the art is it called the artisan kit? The embellishment kit. This is the share what you love embellishment kit. And it's got labels and all sorts of fun things in it. Including two different kinds of twine and some, oh, I might use one of those actually. Really pretty little metal flowers, um, mini clips, all sorts. So keep that out. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> hmm. Oh, Verity Vellum. Oh, oh, you're naughty. Oh. I do love me some vellum. What have I got handy? Oh, I'll tell you what I have got handy. Put of that. <laughs> ah, there we go. Right. Right then. This card's going to go from really quite simple to slightly crazy. Quite quickly. Right. Silver glimmer paper. And a couple of the vellum ones. As well. Right, and then I've got that. I don't think that's going to quite work. That's a shame because I really like that label. It's pretty. Right then, so bit of that. Yeah. Right. So I'll pop some snails straight down on my card. I'm going to pop my vellum ones into that. I'm going to pop some snail on the back of this piece of silver glimmer paper. Like that. Then I'll pop a little bit more snail down over there. Or some silver thread. And I'm I don't know if I've got quite enough. Haven't got any Blackberry Bliss ribbon. I have got some. Oh, I'll tell you what I have got that will look pretty. This is now one of those cards where I'm just going to throw everything at it. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> I have got some of this. Oh, is that an off-cut piece? Yes, it is. The velvet velvet ribbon so pretty yeah look at that right so i'm gonna pop that into that i've got a bit of snail that's just stuck there lovely and then i'm gonna pop that thanks over the top and hold it all together ah! <laughs> there we go oh and me and my little flower Oh, that's called crafting on the hoof. There we go. <laughs> what do you think, guys? So, we have made four fabulous cards in the past 45 minutes. I don't think that's bad going at all, do you? <laughs> don't know how successful they've quite all been. But, you know, it's World Card Making Day. Not everything you have to make is beautiful, okay? We're just making cards. It's fun. 
I promise. So if you want to make any of these cards, all of the products that I've used today are available in my online store. Link is up there. If you're on Facebook, it's down there if you're on YouTube. I have, as usual, got my little cheat sheet of things for the end of my videos because if I don't do this, I forget. So Code Club Code, we have a new one for October. So if you are shopping with me and you add this code where it says hostess code as you check out, you get something fabulous and free from me at the end of the month, beginning of November. I'm not going to tell you what this month's gift is because I don't want to spoil it for the people that have got one. World Card Making Day sale ends tomorrow night. Like I said, all the details for that are available over on my blog. The link for... The direct blog, blog post for World Card Making Day is up there if you're on Facebook or if you click the link in the down bar below on, Fa on YouTube, it will take you there as well. I have a Nature's Poem Suite share that closes in about 10 days time, so if you want to get on board with that, just let me know. The other thing that was announced, I haven't actually done a blog post for this yet, is the Stamparatus accessory packs. Oh, haven't actually used Stamparatus Day either, but... <laughs> you haven't seen one, this oh, is the Stamparatus. This is the greatest crafting tool the world's ever seen. Absolutely love mine. We now have in stock some accessories for it. So there's some more plates, there's some more magnets, there are, oh, there's some fabulous grid paper that I'm gonna have to get my hands on because I need that, I need the grip. Oh, and it, there's a magnet on the bottom, it's just stuck to my cart that sits next to me. I don't know, that's now gonna be broken. Um, This week's video on Wednesday, if you, don't, if you haven't seen my videos on Wednesday, because you need to be subscribed to my newsletter to see them. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, the link for that is always up there on Facebook, down here on YouTube. Um, There will be a video of all of the stamp accessories on there. And then, like I mentioned at the very, very beginning of my video, I have got my Stampin' by Hannah VIP Rewards program that runs all the time. All you need to do is click over to my blog and there is a button right at the top to tell you all about it. I have had some fabulous stamps claimed this month um, and I am super, super excited to get them in the post to the lovely ladies who have earned them. So that is it. Thank you very much for joining me here at Stampin' by Hannah on World Card Making Day. Do share your World Card Making Day creations with me. I hope I've inspired you today and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.